In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Hypnotize Photoshop action to create an astonishing ink in water effect, such as the one you can see here. Hypnotize will dramatically transform your images. It will save you hours or even days of work. And besides all, it will generate unlimited and unique effects on the same photo every time you run the action. You can get this impressive graphic river action by following the link below. In order to get started with the action, we will have to load the action first, <clears throat> which we will do right now from the actions panel. Load actions. Select the action. Load. Now we have the action available in the actions panel. And now we will have to load the brushes that the action requires in order to generate the ink elements. So, go to the brushes tool, the brush tool. load brushes, select our brush file, load. OK. Now we can uh, work on a JPG file. I'm going to work on the same file. This is the original image and see what the action has produced. It even has a shadow. Okay, this is the original image. On this image, in Photoshop, we notice we have a locked background layer, which contains the image. Above this layer, I'm going to create another layer. Create a new layer. Name it Brush with a capital B. Remember that the capital B is important. The action uses this layer. OK, and with a brush, a medium hardness brush, not very big in size. On this layer, the brush layer, I'm going to paint some areas of interest. Let's say something like this. And the action is going to use what I've brushed here in order to generate the effects around the brush. So now we have everything ready to run the action. Click on play. And the action is working. And it has generated a result. This is our result. Remember that results are uh, unique. They are randomly generated. That is, the ink elements are randomly generated based, of course, upon the position of your brush. You can always tweak your result by changing the brush, changing what you have brushed in uh, the image. OK. Uh, the action is created to be run multiple times. So even if uh, we have a result here, 
this is the the group of layers we can run the action again and the new result will be generated okay and now we have something different so notice there are two layer groups right now first and the second and we can run it again and again as many times as you we want let's try one more time okay let's say we are more satisfied with this result we can delete the previous group layers the the top one is the one we are seeing right now and we can delete the ones from the bottom and now we have our result okay let's say we want to change some things in our action notice we have another group of layers called main object which contains the ink elements and uh, the photo we have a shadow element which is this one and of course we have a color fill layer which we can change to some color we want okay let's return to the white background inside the main object group of layers we have multiple layers not all of them are active for example this one is not we have some uh, color filters which we can use in order to tweak a bit of the contrast and uh, color saturation uh, of the elements we can always double click and change the, the values and settings of whatever you have here we have a margin effect which is responsible for creating the pink magenta color fill around our subject here is it without the effect and with this margin effect has a color changer applied to it so you can change the color of the the margin effect and adjust it to your needs whatever they may be okay or you can leave it uh, off you can hide this layer in order to bring a uh, brown yellow gold color to your image you have a uh, topping fill layer which is this one and another one which was hidden by default these layers can be used to intensify your elements your ink elements you can also turn them off if you have a uh, if you have an image with a white background it will create an interesting effect i will show you a bit later <clears throat> you also have a subject color filter 
which can be used to change the color of your subject. This is it uh, off and on. It is a warming filter. You can always put whatever you want inside it. And create the look you want. And you have uh, two images. The subject with the inner glow. Which you can turn it off. And of course your the image of your subject. You can show or hide this layer, the subject with the inner glow, in order to intensify your ink elements on the subject. Besides these layers, there are uh, blending options applied to most layers here and you can use the blending options such as the inner glow in order to change the way your image will look Let's say we want to put a blue color on this layer, and on the second layer, the top ink fill layer. And we have something different. Okay, let's see our original look, and the margin effect, you can always play with the elements as you want, you can for example apply to the margin effect uh, blur filter in order to change something on your image or you can play with the shadow in order to change the way it looks As I, I was saying, if you have an image with a white background, such as this one, you can create a very interesting dispersion effect. Uh, here is how. I'm going to enlarge the canvas of the image, because it's white and I can enlarge it very simply as much as I want, percent let's say 150, we have it like this, okay I'm going to create the brush layer, and paint on it, Let's say something like this. And I'm going to run the action. Oh, 
Okay, and an effect has been generated. And I was saying that you can hide the topping fill layer in order to leave your subject with a dispersion like an ink dispersion effect as you can see here notice what the action did on the image okay this is it thank you very much for watching my tutorial and uh, I wish you the best results with the action.